Hey guys, what's up? Plasma Mastodon 911 here. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a somewhat complex tutorial on uh, basically making it easier to have minifigures throw smaller things such as grenades or you know bullets or basically whatever they're throwing. I figured out a pretty easy way to um, make them do that. So after just a lot of watching other YouTubers you know, other pros like Keshinate or Forcefire 101, Fancy Pants, that type of thing. Um, I realized that there's a lot easier way to make minifigures throw smaller things such as grenades. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture like this. Okay, so you have your picture here, and it's of a grenade. And basically, what I learned, I do not know exactly how to do this on Windows because I'm a Mac user. But um, I've learned that what you can do is you can go up here to Tools and then Annotate and then you can just click one of these. These are not actually what I'm going to use. I just click these because I don't know how else to create this drop down menu. But I'm sure there's another way. But anyway, you go over here and you have these four or five, yeah, five, sorry, I can't count, five tools. And basically, they all do something different. See, so this square one. You select. You can select square areas, and then you can do edit, and then you can edit the picture however you want. If you want to delete that area, you hit delete, copy, you know, cut, paste, whatever you want to do, etc. With that, and the same thing is with all these other tools. The circle tool, you select a circle, and then this lasso tool is actually a bit different. This is probably my favorite because what you can do is you can actually just draw an area you want to delete, and then you can just do edit, and then delete and you can just basically edit the picture yeah you can just edit the picture however you want hold on it's just loading see so that del sorry that deleted that area of the picture and then this basically what this does is it um, detects different color different colors so with this tool you can like click and then drag and it will select one certain color so, so here what I've done so here if I hold it here it is selected, it looks like orange and gray and dark green. And then if I do more, then it's selected almost just the grenade. And then keep doing that. You can just adjust it so that it's only selecting the grenade. Um, but that's a little bit harder. So my favorite is the lasso one, guys. So what you basically do is you just draw and you have to take out all this background area. And if you guys don't understand why, it's because... In order to make someone throw something in Lego, you have to take a smaller picture. You can either mask it, which I have a tutorial for on my channel in my tutorials playlist. You can either mask it by doing that, or you can um, paste a small picture of whatever they're throwing over a blank picture without them throwing anything, which I'll show you in a minute, which sounds really complicated, which it's really not. But anyway, guys, it's a long process to delete out this background area but basically you have to delete out all this background area basically using whatever tool you want but for tutorial sake I'm not going to do that I'm just going to show you guys what the finished product looks like so assume guys that you've edited out this entire background and you just have a small picture of a grenade which I have prepared right here in this folder right here so assume that you've edited out that entire picture and that now you just have a nice picture of a grenade what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna open up GIMP and this is uh, what I've learned this is an easier way to mask things guys what you do basically is you take this picture so say this guy which you guys you'll see this film in a little bit on my channel but this guy just say he just threw a grenade over this barrier to hit this guy who's off screen right now okay so you just threw this grenade and so what we're gonna do Obviously in this picture, you don't see anything, like there's nothing there. Well, what we can do is we can take another pi picture, this grenade here, that we edited out the background, so it's just one layer of a little grenade. What we can do is we do right click and then edit and then copy. And then that copies that image, throw that down there, and then you do edit and paste. All right, so then we take this histogram here, and once this loads in, I don't know why it's taking it so long, but obviously since it was a zoomed in picture, guys, it's not going to be scaled exactly how we want it, so we're going to have to scale it down. So with this historogram, we can actually 
select guys all these tabs here they select you know how you want to edit the picture and about the layers this white one here is the layers tab this is, this is what makes it so you can select you know which layer so we have this layer of the grenade selected and what we want to do is we want to scale this layer so we just click the layer which has the grenade obviously guys this whole area is the picture of the grenade we just edited out the background but the whole rest of the picture still has like an entity there it's just not visible and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale it down by doing this and I take it to about the 500 the third tick mark down from the 500 and over here to the 1000 I don't really or wait over here to this the second tick mark from the 1000 and the third tick mark down from the 500 there's no real like I don't even know what they're for I just I just scale it like that so you just hit scale and that will erase this bigger picture and give us a smaller one at least that's what it's supposed to do there we go alright so it's just having some uh, lag but it'll load so now guys you don't even see these rough edges that you edited because you don't have to edit it perfectly because you know these pictures are going to be gone in like 0.1 seconds anyway so you really just need enough to give the shape of a grenade so now guys we have a small picture of a grenade and if you don't want him to have thrown it that far then you just select it and then you hit you know inside this orange circle here and that's how you can move this layer around so say he threw the grenade back here and so we put it there alright and so that's about it for this tutorial guys but basically what I've done here is I don't know what that's doing I think it's just having some lag Okay, yeah, so that's just, that'll erase, guys. That I'm just having some lag because of my uh, recording. Um, and I think I have Minecraft on down below. Anyway, um, so basically, guys, that's it for this tutorial. So what you can do from here is you basically keep opening the same picture here, but then keep moving the grenade back a little by little. And I have actually, um, I've done a test of this, having this guy just throw the grenade up in the air just straight up in the air as a test and uh, so yeah you guys will get to see that right now